Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by Wyo called Civilian. And we end up capoing this on fourth fret, but we're going to start out on an E minor chord, and we play E minor. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And on our intro, actually, we do just the, the E minor at the very, very beginning. And there's a couple different strum patterns, actually, that you may want to kind of experiment with through the song, actually, to kind of match the tune. It is kind of a quick the, the pace tempo. But one of my favorite strum patterns to work with a song like this, though, is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up. have to do that really fast to match the recording. Another option is to just take the first half of that, just the down, down, up, and kind of work that through each one. Down, 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 And another strum pattern that I think could work really well is kind of a long down, down, down. Especially in a faster tempo that might actually feel pretty good for you. So it's like minor down. into our main verse progression. And our verse starts out in E minor, and then we do another E minor, and then we go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And we kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of skinny four strings. That'll get your clear sound of that. And that's called D major. And then from the D major, we're going to go to an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go into a C major chord. We're going to play C major. From the A minor, all you really have to do is move the third finger from the G second to the A string third fret. So now I got first finger on the B string first, second finger on the D string second, third finger on the A string on the third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds and that's a lot of our song actually, it's just that E minor, D major, A minor, C major. So we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. really fast to match the recording you might want to just try just the down down it and then you have E minor with the down down E minor down down D down down D down down E minor down down E minor down down C down down C down down or you can try that long down 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 up and you have E minor with the down 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 E minor D Although we do have kind of a break in the middle, actually, where we just kind of alternate between the E minor and, and, and the D major. Now, the weird part is to play along with Wyoke, though, instead of starting on an E minor chord, they're actually starting on a G sharp minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, then now your E minor is really a G sharp minor, and your D major is really an F sharp major, and your A minor is really a C sharp minor, and your C major is really an E major very very beginning that way. You got kind of that E minor you could do the down down up up down up. So E minor the down down up up down E minor down down up up down E minor down down up up down up. And randomly a tempo that would feel like. So really really fast. So that's too fast for you. We could do just the down down up on it when we have E minor. Down down up down. experiment with that down 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 up and then we have E minor with the down 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 and then from there then we'll be going into our first part and we can do that with the down down up up down we have E minor down down up up down E minor down down up up down D down down up up down D down down up up down E minor down down up up down E minor down down up up down C down down up up down C down 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 down
And then you have E minor. And then you have E minor down, 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 E minor, D, A minor, C. And then we're basically repeating that until we get to kind of our, our solo break. And our solo break, we go from the E minor twice to the D major twice. And we hit doing that four times, actually. So we did that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, D, down. our intro on the E minor again. Now one thing that I would think about adding to this song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down, down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, down, up, or the down, 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 up, um, you can kind of add in kind of a bass note. So on the E minor the low E string would kind of be your bass note for that chord. On the D string you'd have the D for your bass. And then on the A minor you'd have the A string for your bass. And when we get to the C chord you'd have the A string for your bass on your C chord. So if we kind of try that through that next intro, you can work this a couple different ways. You can do kind of the bass down, up, up, down, up, on E minor. Try our intro with our bass down, up, up, down, up. We have bass down, up, up, down, E minor with the bass down, up, up, down, E minor with the bass down, up, up, down, E minor with the bass down, up, up, down, up. Or if that seems really, really fast to match your recording, you do just kind of a bass down, up on the E minor. Bass down, up, bass down, up, bass down, up. Or you can do a bass down, down, up. And then you have bass, down, down, a 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 bass. So if we took those ideas and kind of try them to, to apply them to our chorus, we could do it just bass, down, up, up, down, up. And you have E minor the bass, down, up, up, down, E minor the bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up. finger style parts and you could kind of work in really easy finger style version with the song by basically making your thumb your bass player for your E and your A and your D string and then you can line up G string on or index finger on the G string middle finger on the B string and then ring finger on the high E string and then basically you could kind of work it as kind of a, a bass index middle ring is kind of a, a little arpeggio or broken chord around it so something else you may want to kind of play around with is kind of doing the E minor is kind of just a thumb index middle ring and normally when we're talking finger style we use classical abbreviations so the, the, the classical abbreviations come from Spanish so your thumb is pulgar or P index is I for, for indeso now, middle finger is M for medio, uh, ring finger is A for angular, and the pinky is C for chica, so it's PIMAC, P-I-M-A-C. So if I started saying P-I-M-A, it would mean thumb index middle ring, kind of working those strings. So you could kind of work it as a cool little finger saw by doing E minor with the low E bass, D with the D bass, A minor with an A bass, C with an A bass, E minor with low E bass, D with the D bass. A minor with an A bass, C with an A bass. So you want to kind of play around with that. And there's this recurring lick actually that kind of happens through the tune that, that's really awesome. It's kind of like that finger style, and I'm hoping I got this pretty close to right. But you start out open E, and then second on the A, open G, and then we do a hammer on on the D string from open to second fret, and then open G after it. So you got O two O O two O O two O O two O. It's kind of a cool little E minor lick, and I'm doing that with the fingers, kind of. 
breaking oh, different strings now. But. And then on the D chord, you could kind of work something around a D sus too, where you, if you lift off the second finger, which is a dangerous finger to lift, <laughs> on the top four strings, that's called a D sus two. And, and this lick gets broken up actually a couple different ways. Actually, you could just do open, open D, open E, and then open D, and then third fret on the B string and then kind of hit this cool little move for a bass line, going third on the A, and then second on the A, to kind of lead into the A minor. So kick it work is just kind of open, 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 three, open, three, two, it's kind of kind of a, a little arpeggio. What I was kind of digging is doing the D sus two with kind of the thumb index middle ring, and then kind of going thumb index middle to kind of get the O two three, and then kind of doing the, the, the O two three O, and then kind of hitting the bass line. So, could be kind of a cool option too. And then from the A minor chord, if you do open A, second on the D, first foot on the B, and then kind of throw in that open to second hammer on, on the G string, or D string, just like the E minor leg. That could be a cool leg for the A minor. And if you go open A, and then second on the A, the third foot on the A for the C chord, Almost kind of do that same lick around the C chord. So I'm kind of going three, two, one, O2, hammer on one, three, two, one. And if you wanted to, and I don't think they do this in the recording, but a cool way to get back to the E minor would be going third on the low E string, second on the low E string, and then kind of going back to your E minor lick. So you could have your E minor lick, and then the D lick, and then the bass line to the A minor. repeating that until we get to our outro and our outro just goes back to that E minor or you might even want to kind of work that just just that lick we were just talking about that that's kind of your intro and your outro that could be a very cool lick to work for those repeated E minors but that's the basics of how you get strung through Y Oak Civilian so good luck